Hey guys, I thought I'd do a walk around tour of our camper today. Now, as you know, many of the videos that I put on YouTube are camping related, and this is just another video to go along with that, and I'll be doing some modifications to this camper that I will be adding to the channel later on. Now, this is a 31 foot, it's a Flagstaff Classic Super Light. Uh, the model number is 831RKSS. Now it has three bunks in the back, it has the outdoor kitchen, and all that's really handy, and uh, it does have the queen bed up front, and we're loving it so far. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick tour of it. We're running short on daylight, so I'll start outside. Check it out. All right, so I'll start here at the front and show you. It does have a docking light, which is pretty handy. It does have an electric jack, which is awesome and another little light there and the propane tanks it has two 30 gallon tanks right in there and you can't really see any gauges or anything i have a, a new little gadget that i installed and i'll have that in a different video but it actually connects to bluetooth and lets you know how much propane is in the tank i only have one battery i thought about adding another one i may do that later on it does have the load distribution system so that takes some of the weight off of the tongue and puts it back on the trailer, which is pretty, pretty cool. And that opens up to the bedroom window. It does have electric stabilizer jacks. Uh, they are not meant to really lift anything. They won't level it up at all. You get the trailer level and then you let the jacks down on the pads and it just keeps it from rocking so bad and you do that here pretty handy and then this is meant to hold up this door here and you kind of see through to the other side ignore my mess we just got back from camping uh, loading up after a rain and I kind of just threw everything in there but you see all the way through to the other side I'd like to build some type of a drawer so that I can pull it out there and that would make life so much easier because you can't reach anything there in the middle. If I had a drawer I could pull it out and utilize that space a lot better. The awning was added about a year before we bought it so it's in really good shape. It's dirty right now. I opened it up just basically to, to show it to you but uh, it is made so that it'll collapse before it uh, rips completely off which actually happened last night this side uh, somehow came down from a gust of wind it came down quite a bit lower than the other side uh, but once I rolled it in everything went back to normal these steps are not electric but they're really easy to put in and out it does have a light there step light the water heater is there this is the exhaust for the heat for the gas heat. It does have a place to plug in cable here and receptacles so you can put a TV outside if you like. This is the back side of the refrigerator and this is really handy. There is a propane cable here and that connects to a grill that's stored in the front compartment where I just showed you. It just basically sits right here and you connect that and and you can cook some awesome burgers on that. We'll lift this outdoor kitchen here up. And here's the back stabilizer jack. Again, not meant to lift it up or level it, just to keep it more stable. And there's a button for that. And this uh, stuff just kind of rode <laughs> on the way back. A couple of my chargers there. But uh, it's got a microwave, a refrigerator, and this folds out and this is where we usually cook breakfast so unless it's pouring down rain we'll cook breakfast right here and keep the bacon and sausage liver mush keep all that odor out out here outside so the sink is it works great we just kind of left the coffee maker there for the ride but the sink works great but it does leak this uh, faucet leaks here and down here, I will be replacing that soon. I want to put a, uh, get rid of that plastic thing, put a regular uh, faucet there. And it does have a light. The microwave works awesome. And the grill or stove connects with a quick connect. 
and that connects right there with the yellow plug you plug it right up turn it on and you're good to go so above the kitchen is a window and that goes to the kids bunk that's a double bunk here on this side and it has two single bunks on the other side but right behind this on the inside is some shallow cabinets and drawers so that the kids can have somewhere to store their clothes you can get on the top there with this ladder and we normally keep our flag stored right there while we're camping and here's where you fill the water if you're dry camping and using just the 12 volt battery you fill that water tank there and I added that sticker there back when we first got the camper I do want to add a rack back here on the back I don't know if I'll add like a bumper hitch or uh, some type of big rack to haul bicycles and stuff but uh, and I may build the rack attach it here to the back and then put the spare tire on the back of the rack I'm not sure but um, this bumper does hold the stinky slinky the sewage hose so uh, I will be utilizing the bumper but I would like to build a rack on the back all right so this storage here on the driver's side at the back open this door and again ignore the mess like I said we just got back from camping loading up a wet junk but this is the bottom bunk and right over here is a latch you pull that latch and this bunk folds down and rest right here just rest on that, on that board on this side and that's where my little boy sleeps but once that's down he has his own light here you can see uh, if you need to light for loading up it's cool and if he needs light for playing here in the bed or whatever but it's really handy and we like to hang a towel right over it for nap time it darkens it up really good but that's where we keep all our chairs our chairs are actually sitting out right now drying but um, you can lock it just like you can the side door the main door locks twice and he's safe good to go and the top bunk window another light I've actually not used that light yet and this is a 30 amp camper and uh, you connect the water there and another place to plug in cable or satellite and we utilize cable we have two TVs in there and it does have an outdoor shower and obviously there's where you drain the sewage it does have a fresh water drain here and that's for the tank on the back you can see that right there and I actually went to drain it and broke the little valve so now it is staying open I gotta replace that valve really soon so it does have one slide and this slide holds the din dining table and the couch and it does have an awning on it now these are slide locks and that's meant to go inside to lock the slide in while you're riding so that the slide don't work out they do make slide supports which is what I'm using that for right now and I'm gonna be buying those soon probably make another video on that and that's the other window driver's side window to the bedroom there and here's the opposite side of the storage and again you can see all the way through but this side is wider so if I make a drawer that meets in the middle this drawer will have to be wider than the other one so that's the outside it's dirty right now really needs a bath but man it's in really good shape 2011 and I don't know how many miles is on it and I know it's been traveled with eight times before we bought it and we've traveled with it three times so let's go in and check out the inside I really like this too as it keeps the door secure you just hope nobody comes by at night and does that while you're in because you probably won't get the door open
Okay, when you walk in, first thing you go to there on the right is the bedroom, the master bedroom. And I have something stuffed up in the vent there to keep it warmer in here and keep the light out. But it has the air vents for the AC there in the top. I changed the lights. These light bulbs are LEDs and I'll probably do a video on that too. And later I'll show you a video on these little fillers here. And actually this bed is about as comfortable as the one we have at home. And this is just a couple of small closets. We keep our clothes there and that step up is going to be because of the storage there in the front. You see that blind over there? I have it up part of the way up. There's actually two sets. The first part, if you have it completely blacked out, it looks like this. And then if you lift that up, it lets in more light, but you still have privacy. And that's what I have over there right now. And it does have a TV. I like the way that you have two doors over there and over here so that you don't have to squeeze around that bed all the time. Here's the control center and you got the water pump, water heater, tank heater, and I've never used that. But the slide and awning and the lights it shows full battery, which that should be accurate. But the fresh water tank is empty, that should be accurate. Black water tank shows a third that there's no way that's accurate it's empty i emptied it all and then the gray water should be empty so that's hopefully those are ac accurate this cabinet here goes all the way through to the other side of this and then there's one down here and i keep tools and stuff down there that's my little area tools cameras whatever uh, this faucet comes out and sprays that's pretty handy but it's plastic I'm probably going to change out all the faucets at the same time there you see the slide again I've changed some of the light bulbs these are the cool white LEDs and that is the warm incandescent bulb that I have not changed yet so this couch folds out into a queen bed you pull it out there's an air mattress there you plug it up and it fills up really quick and really handy and we just have plates and stuff there I have replaced a couple of these hinges and I don't know if you can see those extra holes there these hinges were kind of all jacked up I ordered some more and these I got for like a couple bucks each so I wanted to have the real deal on that it was kind of kind of all messed up but so going around here this table uh, I like that a lot. It's not fixed. It don't connect to the side over there and then uh, come down. It's just, you know, you can move this whole thing out, which is pretty neat. You're traveling, you turn it upside down, close the legs up, and you're good to go. The storage under here is kind of lackluster. It's, I mean, it only goes to about right here, about halfway. So I'm going to eventually make a longer drawer there to utilize all that. There's no sense in having half a drawer when you've got all that other area underneath that seat that's not being utilized. And the same for that drawer. Some plans I have in the future. So also this table folds down. If you want to fold the legs up, lay it right there on that board. It'll rest right there and you can pull those cushions down and that's a double bed so if you need to use that have more people stay in here here's the pantry my wife has some little containers in there to slide out so you can access stuff better but we actually want to put some shelves in here and just make more space for like cans and stuff so going into the bedroom back here it does have a sliding door here for privacy and when we put our kids down for a nap, that's handy. So you can see I have another one of these. That really makes a huge difference when uh, on heat and light. So these little things have broken and I'm, those, like, those are all messed up, but I need to 
need to replace those. But each bed has a light. You can see here, that one does. And down here, this is the opposite side of the store, you know, back, back there on the other side, that's the door right back there where you can access, and that's where we store chairs and stuff. Uh, you just have to take them out and let that bed down when you're going camping. And a few drawers. I guess you could put a TV back here. There's no, there's no plug, no cable or anything, but, um, and just this place that hangs some clothes. Like I said, this is the double. And this screen's been out since we've had it. I need to replace that. But this is how the kids get up and down from the top bunks, that little ladder there. All right, so this is the bathroom and the shower curtain. It's kind of a, an accordion style. It comes out and rides in that track there. Put a track down there. It's not huge, but man, it uh, gets the job done. So we want to replace the shower head with one that you can cut off there at the shower head instead of cutting it off here at the faucet each time. And medicine cabinet. But you can see these are the incandescent bulbs. I've got one out there just because I'm looking for a replacement in LED, just like it. And it does have a plug in here for hairdryer or whatever. And it does have a, I think it's a fantastic fan that you get on here. And I need to clean that. So again, we've only had it a few months, so we're still trying to make it ours. It does have a pretty good amount of storage in it. When I replace the faucets, I'll probably replace this one too. Um, and I've already replaced these. It did have uh, the old style, which toothbrushes don't even fit in anymore. I like the skylight gives you plenty of light while you're showering and it does have a porcelain toilet i like that better than the plastic ones i always felt like i was going to break the plastic ones so it does have a coleman thermostat and to cut the heat on basically you just flip the heat switch and same for ac and ac works great you know it has the vents all throughout for the ac and if you want more air coming out there then you just close these vents here it does have three sides worth of vents here but if you close them there it'll force that air into these other vents there's a speaker back here and right there for the surround sound from the entertainment center so this is for the Sirius radio. We don't have that, but we are able to pick up AM, FM pretty much anywhere we go. And we can also uh, not only play it in here, but there's speakers on the outside, speakers in the bedroom, and then speakers in the living area here. So the TV works great. There are some auxiliary plugs right there. I haven't utilized those yet. And that is a speaker. There's actually a hinge right here on this side of that door that keeps the door shut. It's not made to use as a door. It's just so you can access it if you need to by taking the screws out. But that's actually a speaker back there. That is storage there though. And right here is a small little compartment that we don't use much. But there's some places here to add on a counter. And that counter comes out to about right here which is really handy it gets in the way but uh, the little girl likes to sit there and eat supper sometimes and when they're washing dishes they utilize that extra counter space and the refrigerator like most of them run off electric or gas and we do have another microwave in here all right guys I just want to go ahead and show you this because this camper, nothing special about it, but it is uh, in really good shape. It's 2011, and I'm going to be making some modifications, and I'm going to video the modifications as I go. may help some of you. Maybe you can give me some more ideas on some more modifications. Uh, when I modify these drawers, when I add the drawer up front, 
I'll, I'll video that as I go. I've already changed the tires. I've got a video for that. I've already added an LP gauge. I've got a video for that. I've already added a, a leveling system. I've got to record that video, but I'll, uh, I'll be adding those to my channel so that you can uh, check them out and it might help you. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.